Hello everybody, Marcos Viegas here for Fight Up TV, being joined with Nassim Richardson in Las Vegas. The build-up to the Mayweather versus McGregor fight happening August 26 on pay-per-view underway. And Nassim, what do you make of just everything in general about this fight? And it's been pretty crazy, honestly. It's a tension that I've never seen before, but you coming from the boxing side of things and seeing so many events, how do you see it and how do you compare it to anything? Well, it's an event, you know, and, 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 and it's going to stimulate some, some, some interaction in both sports. But we really don't know. The jury is out on McGregor. We don't know. Will he try to box Floyd? They say Floyd's defensive. What if McGregor fights defensive? What if he just tries to cannonball Floyd? Floyd moves around, and then he stops, plays some bravado in the center of the ring. Hey, come fight me like a man, toe to toe. To you know something? Because McGregor plays to the audience, and I see that happening in the fight. Right. You know, and what if he just wants a couple rounds to take back the MMA and celebrate to be the star in there for the next ten years? We, we don't know. So all these things are to be answered. We know if it comes down to a boxing match and McGregor tries to box, there's a good chance that he start throwing punches at Floyd. Did everything happens the same thing that happened to the last guys that threw punches at Floyd 49 times. It could be the same result. You know what I mean? Floyd, Floyd has an answer that people throwing punches at. Him. You know what I mean? Floyd going to the smaller gloves, open up his opportunities for the scar tissue that McGregor carries from, from, from getting hit by And he says, I've been hit by guys in MMA. And that's true. But I don't know what the testing is. I don't know if Usada tests over there in MMA. And if they don't, then you could have been hit by guys that were using a lot of things, and you could have even been using things to take those punches. So without that, now we don't know what we have here. You know what I mean? So there's still questions to be answered, and 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 we'll we'll see Saturday. In your opinion, is there any way Conor McGregor can win this fight? Do you see it any way that it's possible, or it can be a, a competitive fight? If two men are swinging at each other, anything can happen. Nobody was picking Cassius Clay. Over Sunday Liston. Nobody was picking. Bust but but the, the, those guys have been boxing their whole entire lives. So someone would say that, you know, and Connor's coming in has minor amateur experience. But you've heard about incidents in the street where, where fighters have gotten in altercations and some guys punched them in the face. Yeah, and they they, took them out. yeah it's, 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 it's boxing, it's contact. <laughs> McGregor's a contact, ferocious athlete. He has a chance. It's a slim chance. You know what I mean? But he has a chance. You know what I mean? Confidence plays a strong way when you're a well-conditioned athlete. And regardless of what he is, he's a well-conditioned athlete in combative sport. You know what I mean? He's used to punches coming at him, too. So, you have to see. You know what I mean? Uh, that's why I say the jury's out. That's, that's, why, that's what makes the fights. You know what I mean? That's why we go see him, because we don't know anything could happen. And, and, and that's why we go watch you having trained so many fighters for such a long time, and Connor being known for some of his methods not being very orthodox, or being some say, you know, out there at times. But when you see those methods, what do you make of him and the techniques he uses? He'll be unorthodox, but he's fighting probably the best guy to make an adjustment. So he'll be unorthodox. That could lead for some interesting moments for the first two rounds. But Floyd makes adjustments to all the fighters in the first couple of rounds. So, so, you know I mean, if, those, if that unorthodox format doesn't serve him well to the point where he beats Floyd in that time, I mean, he could pretty much expect that ass woman. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we, we know Floyd would crank it up and turn it into something else, you know what I mean? But McGregor's there, you gotta, you gotta love the, the, the heart, the ferocious confidence, he believes in himself. That carries you a long way. We saw a big dude do that not too long ago, yeah, just be believing himself. He would tell him he was. He would tell himself he was certain things, and then believed it. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury's self belief is one of his biggest weapons. I think his greatest weapon in boxing is his self belief. Certainly, Connor does have an extraordinary amount of confidence in himself, and it, you know it has attributed to a lot of his success. If you believe you can achieve, and it comes to fruition, when you see clips of Connor. Sparring with Polly in training, hitting the bag, doing the spaghetti arms. What do you see from that? And do you see positives in what he's doing? And do you look at him and be like, you know what, this guy can fight? Well, we we know he's aggressive. We know he's he's built for contact. What what also McGonagher 
Conor McGregor is is a showman. Conor McGregor is a showman. And I'm expecting the showmanship to come out in Conor McGregor. I'm expecting him to call Floyd out in the center of the ring and come on and fight me. I'm expecting some staring and playing a little bit behind Floyd's back after the rounds. You know, he puts on that kind of show. For you. And he figures if he brings it, it makes him a bigger star in boxing. And it makes people want to see him more than they wanted to see Floyd. I mean, and he's done some of that on, on, on the tour. He's, he's made himself a sight to see. Anything you buy with a ticket is a form of entertainment. People are paying for a big ticket for this. I mean, they want to be entertained. And McGregor caters to that. See, Floyd does the job. If you know, by the time you get to these last press conferences, Floyd is all business then. He's on dinner already. Yeah. yeah. Conor McGregor is about to, he wanted some more showmanship time at the press conference. He wanted to, hey, let's, let's do our, uh, our back and forth banner. You know what I mean? Floyd was out of that, man. He said, it's time for fighting. Let's focus on that. McGregor carries that even into the ring. He's going to carry the showmanship. You watch. You're going to see a certain amount of rounds go. You'll see him playing to the crowd and walking to the audience and showing some, some of his showmanship. Pick your brain on the gloves. There's been a big old deal about going from 10 ounce to 8 ounces. Many feel it's a big advantage to Connor. Connor himself feels that Floyd made a big mistake in allowing him to go to 8 ounces. What's your take on that? Do, do the glove size make a huge difference in a fight like this for the puncher or the defensive fighter? For both. It, 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 in a, it, it introduces opportunities for Floyd to cut open that scar tissue with his speed and his precision. He can cut that scar tissue open and this guy start leaking all over the place. When you start seeing that maroon shit coming all out of his face, the problems have ensued, you know what I mean? So that helps. McGregor's a puncher, so they say, but like I said, I don't know. I seen him punch in the arena with them four ounce gloves on. We may find out you put two more ounces on it and his punch is regular. We don't know. That's why I say all these things. McGregor is just, a question mark to us in this sport and we'll learn today we'll learn this weekend on the biggest stage if something crazy happens and connor does end up getting the win against floyd mayweather is that a huge blow to boxing or is it just it's a fight and crazy stuff like that happens what you saying should we all got to get new jobs <laughs> <laughs> if it happens it shakes up the world it, 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 it shakes up it, athletes and it'll, it'll, it'll be another one of the underdog can always win you know what i mean but his parents will tell kids see anything could happen you you can be anything in school yeah you know, it, it, if it doesn't we'll find a way if it does we'll find a way to move on life will continue you know what i mean and if it doesn't if it just if everybody waited hey me with the pacquiao me with pacquiao me with pacquiao me with the pacquiao you okay Okay, so it's never one of those. All that excitement, y'all find out if the press tour turned out to be the most exciting thing that was of this fight, don't people can't get mad. People can't get mad. A guy asked me, what do you think about Mayweather and Pacquiao? I said, dog, I never pursued a woman when I was a kid for four or five years. I'm not going to pursue a fight. I mean, they fight, they fight. I'm, just, I'm, I'm on the no care list now. This fight I couldn't pay attention to because I was training Steve Cunningham. So I think, too. yeah, and Steve has a monster in front of him, another undefeated kid on his home surf, on his home turf, with, 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 with motivated by his, 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 his sponsors behind him. I mean, they keep testing Steve like this. I mean, it's his job as the old lion to, to turn him back. You know what I mean? Let him know he's not ready to give up the pride yet. But Tabidi looks like the real deal. He looks strong. He looks fast. He looks has the youth on the side. He looks athletic. You got Mayweather Senior behind him. Just just Mayweather willing to take his time out of his life to commit to the kid. Shows you there might be attributes that we haven't seen yet. You know what I mean? But we haven't seen him yet. So he's talented, untested. Now it comes the test. And as we know, there's been talented kids. When the test came, they didn't pass the test. This wouldn't be the first time that happened in life. So that's why we're here. So questions are to be answered. Sunday morning, hopefully we know a lot more about a lot of guys on the set at that, that podium today. We'll see how it goes. You know what I, mean? I just hope that with so much attention being put on, on this fight and the spotlight being put on boxing, that it ends up being a good fight, an entertaining fight, and fans don't 
watch and, and go, you know what, this is why I don't watch boxing because of this, and, and something crazy happens in the main event. I'm, I, I, I hate to go out on a limb and say this, but because of McGregor, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that's possible. Like I say, now, no disrespect to him. I don't know how much of a fighter he'll be in this arena. He's a hell of a fighter in another arena, so they say. But in this one, I don't know how much. But whatever he is, he's an entertainer. He's going to, when the fight gets boring, Ali, they used to have a thing. When, I, when the fight got boring, Ali was taking guys' rounds because he wasn't a puncher. Ali would start uh, wide-mouthing and, and joking with the crowd and doing little things with spaghetti leg. And, uh, he would entertain the audience. I mean, so we, Ali didn't have to punch like George Foreman to entertain us. You know what I mean? McGregor, in this light, he'll entertain us, whether he's winning, losing, whatever, he'll entertain us. He'll do something goofy enough in that ring to make the people laugh, jiggle, and feel like they enjoy themselves. All right, Nazim, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, my man. It's always great uh, talking to you. I love talking to you. Right, thank and you. right here, of course, in the corner of Steve Cunningham this weekend, and in the main event, we're going to see Conor McGregor against Floyd Mayweather Jr. here in Las Vegas, Nevada.